Hello everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am going home this weekend for my family reunion. If you don't know, I am from Northern Michigan originally. To get home, I typically have to fly into Detroit and then drive four hours north. Because I'm going home this weekend, I thought this would be a great opportunity to actually walk you through formally. I've done it in a few videos in the past, but walk you through some of my tips on how I pack a carry-on when I am traveling for personal reasons. It really doesn't differ that much from when I am traveling for work. A few things are just a little bit different. One of those things being the suitcase that I use. I'm not really a fan of my work suitcase because it is a soft cover suitcase and I have just always preferred hardcover suitcases. They are more durable. They withstand a little bit more. And in my opinion, you can pack just a little bit more in these suckers because you can sit on them and zip them and they're not going to start bulging. So it'll still fit in the overhead. The suitcase that I like to use is by the luggage company Away. This is the carry-on. It is their smallest carry-on option. It will fit in the overhead bin for most airplanes. I say most because I know there are some regional planes that are absolutely tiny and and the only thing you can fit in those overhead bins are a backpack. If for whatever reason you do have to check your bag, never fear, nobody will be shuffling through your personal items because you can lock this suitcase. All you have to do is put the zippers into the little notches. When you want to open it back up, you can just put in your combination, then unlock it and the zippers pop back out. This lock is TSA approved, so if for whatever reason TSA needs to get into it, they do have a key that they can do it. The only people shuffling through your suitcase will be you and potentially TSA, but fingers crossed that they won't be. Another reason that when I'm traveling for personal reasons, I prefer to use this suitcase. Not only does it lock, not only is it a hard shell, but it also has four wheels. So it is so much easier to roll around the airport or to roll from the car to your, like the shelter where the bus picks you up. It's just much easier to travel with in general. And I've always preferred these types of suitcases to prove it to you. I do have my old suitcase that I actually got back in 2013 when I spent a month traveling around England. So again, we have the hard shell and we've got the four wheels. And I am telling you, the four wheels make a huge difference when you are trying to get through the airport or just maneuvering the suitcase in general. It makes such a big difference. For anybody that has particularly long travel days or if you are also an airline employee and a non-rev and you know the game of non-rev roulette where you sit in the airport for eight hours just waiting for an empty seat on a flight but can't find a charger and your phone's dying or there's not one like near the gate or you can find a charger but they're all already taken. This suitcase is particularly amazing because you can charge your electronics right on the suitcase. The little port area has this place to charge the suitcase itself and then it actually has two USB ports as well where you can charge your phone or an iPad or any other type of electronic that might be dying on you while you are traveling. So when it comes to actually packing and picking out my clothes, I like to keep it fairly basic, especially since this weekend is just a family reunion. So it's just gonna be eating and sitting around a campfire most of the time. Because it is Northern Michigan, I did throw in a sweatshirt and a chambray shirt to toss over just in case it gets a little cold. And then I just have two pairs of shorts, two t-shirts, two tank tops, my pajamas, two workout shorts, two workout tops, and two sports bras, some socks, my underwear, straightener, this is my toiletry bag, and my makeup bag. Liquids for flight crew are a little bit different than regular passengers. For most of you, you will need a clear bag to put all of your liquids in, and you'll have to take that out of your carry-on when you're going through security. And then I also have my workout shoes, some sandals, and then I'll put them in this bag just to keep them from getting anything else dirty. Of course, I had to throw in a hat and then a swimsuit because we might be going fishing this weekend, so it would be nice to be able to just lay on the boat and get a little tan. And as far as actually my day of travel outfit, I've got my jeans, this army jacket, or army style jacket, a scarf just in case the plane is kind of cold and if I want to sleep, I can use it as a pillow. <laughs> Plain white t-shirt, well, 
with the beetles some closed toed flats for your actual day of travel outfit i highly recommend wearing some of your bulkier pieces for example that's why i'm wearing my jeans because it'll open up more space in the suitcase for more clothes and then same with the jacket granted i do have i'm also taking a sweatshirt just because i'm going to be wearing this on the way back as well and i don't want that smelling like a bonfire so I threw in a sweatshirt. Yeah, so I highly recommend wearing some of your bulkier items on your actual day of travel. Now in the fall or winter, this would mean wearing your boots while you're traveling. That way it doesn't take up space in the suitcase. carry-on for when I'm traveling on personal reasons. One of the great things about away luggage is they do have a lifetime warranty and if for whatever reason in the first 100 days you don't like it you can send it back. So if you get a color that you don't like, which reminds me, I obviously got just the black color but away does offer several colors in all of their different sizes of luggage. You can get your favorite color or just a color that will stand out from the sea of black suitcases in baggage claim. And I probably will personalize this one by adding some ribbons or stickers or something like that. Away does offer a lifetime warranty. They do have a 100 day trial. So you can send it back if you get the color that you don't like or just decide that you don't really like the suitcase in general, you can send it back. There's really no risk, like you might as well at least give it a try. If you do decide to give it a try, you can use my code, Jenny with two Y's. So you just go to away.com slash Jenny with two Y's again and enter my code Jenny Y for $20 off of your purchase. All this information will also be linked down below. Also in the description box, there are links to a bunch of my other videos as well as frequently asked questions questions and my social media accounts so if you're not following me there then definitely go follow me on some of those so you can stay in the know real time and don't have to wait for a video if you like this video you know the drill go ahead and give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you are not already leave any questions or comments down below and until next time work hard be kind and spread good vibes i love you all goodbye